You did everything. You accepted me for who I am. The complexities of love often transcend ordinary experience, reaching into the realm of the extraordinary. Historical figures are no exception to this rule. This video delves into the love lives of ten such people, revealing the bizarre, passionate, and sometimes scandalous relationships that shaped their lives. Without further ado, let us embark on this exploration, starting with the legendary Queen of Egypt, Cleopatra. Number 1. Cleopatra. Cleopatra VII, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, has been immortalized in history for her remarkable beauty, intelligence, and love affairs with two of Rome's most powerful leaders, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Her relationships were not merely the result of personal attraction. They were strategically designed to protect Egypt's interests and maintain her own power. Her affair with Julius Caesar began in 48 BCE when Cleopatra, determined to secure Caesar's support against her brother and co-ruler Ptolemy the Taint, was famously smuggled into Caesar's chamber wrapped in a carpet. The two quickly became lovers, and Cleopatra gave birth to a son, Caesarian. Their relationship was a blend of political strategy and personal attachment. Caesar's support allowed Cleopatra to regain her throne, while the relationship helped Caesar strengthen his control over Egypt. After Caesar's assassination in 44 BCE, Cleopatra formed another politically astute relationship with Mark Antony, a member of the Second Triumvirate that ruled Rome. They met in Tarsus, where Cleopatra arrived in a golden barge adorned with purple sails, attended by servants dressed as sea nymphs. The extravagant display captivated Antony, and their relationship blossomed. It wasn't just a passionate love affair. Antony needed Cleopatra's financial support, and Cleopatra needed Rome's military backing. Cleopatra's love life is more than a series of intriguing relationships. It's a complex tale of power, politics, and personal passion. She was a ruler who used her relationships with two of the most powerful men of her time to secure her throne and her nation's independence. Her love affairs have become symbols of desire and manipulation, yet they also illustrate her intelligence, political acumen, and her unwavering commitment to her country's interests. The blend of romance and real politic in her love life continues to fascinate and perplex historians, making Cleopatra one of history's most enigmatic and beguiling figures. Number 2. Henry VIII. King Henry VIII of England, a ruler renowned for his strong will and passionate disposition, is equally famous for his six marriages that shaped not only his reign but also the religious landscape of his country. The tumultuous and at times tragic love life of Henry is intertwined with political machinations and religious upheaval, making his marital history a complex and fascinating subject. Jane Seymour, Henry's third wife, Jane Seymour, gave birth to Henry's only male heir, Edward VI, but tragically died of postnatal complications. Henry, who felt genuine affection for Jane, was devastated by her death and was later buried beside her. Anne of Cleves the political alliance with the Protestant Duchy of Cleves led to Henry's marriage to Anne of Cleves. However, Henry found her physically unappealing, and the marriage was never consummated. The union was annulled, and Anne received a generous settlement. She remained in England and was known as the King's Sister. Catherine Howard. Henry's fifth wife was a young and vivacious woman, Catherine Howard. Their marriage was brief and ended tragically when she was accused of adultery and treason. Like Anne Boleyn, Catherine was beheaded, leaving a stunned and embittered king. Catherine Parr The final marriage of Henry was to Catherine Parr, a widowed noblewoman. She was a loving stepmother to Henry's children and acted as regent when Henry was in France. Her intelligent management of the household and nurturing influence on the royal children cemented her place in history. Henry's marriages were a tapestry of love, lust, political alliance, and personal tragedy. They reveal a man driven by a desire for a male heir and a legacy, but also by passion and at times capriciousness. The consequences of his relationships extend beyond his personal life, leading to England's break with the Catholic Church and the establishment of the Church of England. The story of Henry VIII's love life is not merely a tale of romance. It is a saga that altered the course of a nation. His pursuit of love and legacy, driven by personal desires and political needs, reshaped the religious and political landscape of England. 
making him one of history's most intriguing and complex figures in matters of both heart and state. Number 3. Casanova Giacomo Casanova, the Venetian adventurer and author, has become synonymous with the art of seduction. His love life, filled with amorous conquests and passionate affairs, has achieved legendary status, and his name itself has become a byword for a lover. But Casanova's love life was more intricate and multifaceted than the legend often suggests. Born in 1725 in Venice, Casanova was educated for a clerical career but soon abandoned that path for a life of adventure. His memoir, Histoire de ma vie, Story of My Life, provides an intimate look at his relationships and dalliances. The Lover Casanova's reputation as a lover spread across Europe. His affairs were numerous and often fleeting, encompassing women from all walks of life. He was not merely a seducer, but also someone who deeply appreciated women's intellect and character. His relationships were often marked by genuine affection and mutual respect. The Gambler and Duelist Casanova's love life was intertwined with his other passions, gambling and dueling. His gambling habits often led to financial instability, which in turn influenced his relationships. Duels fought over matters of love or honor were also a recurring theme in his life, the seeker of stability. Despite his reputation, Casanova sought stability in his relationships, especially later in his life. He considered marriage several times and formed long-term connections with some of his lovers. His relationship with the French woman Marie-Louise de la Tour is particularly noteworthy, lasting over a decade. The Legacy Casanova's memoir, penned during the last years of his life as a librarian in Bohemia, has shaped his image. He portrayed his love life with honesty and introspection, including not only his triumphs, but also his failures and regrets. His memoir is more than a recounting of conquests. It is a reflection on love, desire, and human connection. Casanova's love life is an amalgamation of myth and reality. He was a lover, a gambler, an adventurer, and an intellectual. His relationships were complex, driven not only by physical desire, but also by intellectual engagement, emotional connection, and at times, a search for stability and meaning. His own account of his life provides a nuanced picture of a man who was both a product of his time and an individual who transcended the stereotype. While the name Casanova might evoke a caricature of a relentless lover, the real man was more profound and intricate. His love life, filled with passion, adventure, and introspection, offers a glimpse into the mind of one who loved deeply and lived fully, making him one of history's most intriguing and enigmatic lovers. Number 4. Marie Antoinette Marie Antoinette, the ill-fated Queen of France, has often been a subject of fascination and controversy. Her marriage to Louis XVI at the tender age of 14 was a political alliance designed to cement the relationship between Austria and France but her love life extended beyond this arranged marriage, giving rise to rumors, scandals, and a mixture of myth and reality that continues to captivate historians. The Diamond Necklace Affair Perhaps the most scandalous event associated with Marie Antoinette was the Diamond Necklace Affair. Though she was innocent, her reputation was tarnished by the scandal in which con artists attempted to purchase an expensive diamond necklace in her name. This event fueled anti-royalist sentiments and depicted her as a frivolous and immoral queen. Scapegoat for a Nation's Ills Marie Antoinette's perceived extravagance and the whispers about her personal life turned her into a scapegoat for France's financial and social problems. Pamphlets and caricatures painted her as a licentious and irresponsible figure, an image that played a role in her downfall. Devotion to Family Amid the scandals and rumors, Marie Antoinette's devotion to her family was clear. Her letters reveal a loving mother and a wife who stood by Louis XVI during the turbulent times leading up to the French Revolution. Tragic End The myths and realities of Marie Antoinette's love life cannot be separated from her tragic fate. Accused of treason and immorality, she was guillotined in 1793, a symbol of the excesses and failures of the French monarchy. Marie Antoinette's love life was complex and often misunderstood. Her marriage to Louis XVI grew into a partnership of mutual respect, while her friendships outside the marriage led to rumors and scandals that shaped her image and her destiny. 
The blend of truth and fabrication surrounding her relationships has created a figure that is both historical and mythical. In studying Marie Antoinette's love life, we uncover a woman caught between personal desires and political realities, between the role of a queen and the expectations of a public hungry for scandal. Her story is emblematic of a time of social upheaval and a warning of how perception can become reality. Marie Antoinette's relationships, both real and rumored, reflect a life that was shaped as much by love, friendship, and family as by the political turmoil and social tensions of her time. Her love life, in all its complexity, continues to intrigue and invites us to explore the intersection of personal emotions and public perception, offering a multifaceted view of a woman who remains an enigmatic and compelling figure in history. Number 5. Lord Byron George Gordon Byron, 6th Baron Byron, commonly known as Lord Byron, was one of the leading figures of the Romantic movement in English literature. Beyond his literary achievements, Byron's love life was marked by scandal, passion, and a disregard for the social norms of his time. His relationships were as multifaceted and extraordinary as his poetry, and they continued to intrigue scholars and readers alike. Passionate Affairs Byron's romantic life was filled with intense and often tumultuous relationships. His affairs with women such as Lady Carolyn Lamb, who famously described him as mad, bad, and dangerous to know, were marked by passion and controversy. Homosexual Relationships At a time when homosexuality was illegal in England, Byron's relationships with men were carefully concealed. His attachment to John Edelston, a choir boy he met while at Cambridge, was particularly significant to him, and their relationship influenced some of his poetry. Byron the Libertine Byron's pursuit of pleasure was legendary, and his sexual escapades were often intertwined with his literary endeavors. He challenged conventional morality and embraced a libertine lifestyle that shocked many of his contemporaries. Emotional Complexity Despite his reputation as a seducer, Byron's letters and journals reveal a man of deep emotional complexity. His relationships were not merely physical. They were often profound emotional connections that had a lasting impact on his life and work. Literary Reflections Byron's love life was not only a personal adventure, but also a source of literary inspiration. His relationships, passions, and heartbreaks found expression in his poetry, and characters like Don Juan reflect aspects of his own personality and experiences. Early Death and Lasting Legacy Byron's adventurous life was cut short at the age of 36 when he died while supporting the Greek War of Independence. His love life, like his poetry, continues to be a subject of fascination, embodying the spirit of romanticism and challenging traditional views of love, sexuality, and morality. Lord Byron's love life is emblematic of a man who lived by his own rules and defied the social constraints of his time. His relationships were varied, intense, and often controversial, reflecting a life lived with passion and a refusal to conform. Whether viewed as a hero or a villain in matters of the heart, Byron's love life is a rich and complex tapestry that offers a glimpse into the soul of one of literature's most enigmatic figures. It is a story that resonates with the themes of his poetry and contributes to the enduring mystique that surrounds his name. Number 6. Frida Kahlo Frida Kahlo, the iconic Mexican artist known for her vibrant paintings and self-portraits, had a love life as colorful and complex as her art. Her relationships were intense and tumultuous, reflecting a life marked by physical pain, emotional resilience, and a desire for self-expression. Marriage to Diego Rivera Frida Kahlo's relationship with fellow artist Diego Rivera was central to her life. Despite their age difference and Rivera's reputation as a womanizer, they shared a deep connection and passion for art and politics. Their marriage was fraught with infidelities on both sides, and they even divorced in 1939, only to remarry a year later. Their bond endured through personal and artistic struggles and remained a significant influence on Kahlo's work. Affairs with men and women. Kalo's sexuality was fluid, and she had relationships with both men and women. Her affairs with notable figures such as Leon Trotsky, the exiled Russian revolutionary, and American artist Georgia O'Keeffe have been well documented, 
These relationships were not simply about physical attraction. They often represented deep intellectual and emotional connections. Independence and Identity Kalo's relationships were part of her broader quest for independence and self-discovery. Her love life was an expression of her complex identity, intertwining her Mexican heritage, political beliefs, and personal experiences. Her relationships were not defined by traditional gender roles or societal expectations, reflecting her fierce individualism. Emotional Resilience Kalo's love life was marked by betrayal and heartbreak, yet she exhibited remarkable resilience. She channeled her emotions into her art, transforming her pain and passion into iconic works that resonate with audiences to this day. Lasting Impact Kalo's love life continues to fascinate scholars and art lovers alike. Her relationships were not separate from her art. They were an integral part of her creative process and a reflection of her multifaceted personality. Frida Kalo's love life is a mirror to her soul, filled with passion, pain, defiance, and complexity. Her relationships were not conventional, reflecting her rejection of societal norms and her embrace of a life lived on her own terms. Kalo's love life was a journey of self-exploration and artistic expression, leaving a legacy that transcends her art. Whether in her marriage to Rivera, her various affairs, or her struggle with physical pain, Kalo's love life is a testament to her strength, vulnerability, and unapologetic individuality. It is a story that is as captivating and multifaceted as her paintings, offering a window into the heart and mind of one of the most intriguing artists of the 20th century. Number 7. Eleanor Roosevelt Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, was a groundbreaking first lady, diplomat, and activist. Renowned for her advocacy of civil rights, human rights, and women's rights, her personal life and relationships were equally complex and unconventional for her time. Marriage to Franklin D. Roosevelt Eleanor's marriage to Franklin was a partnership that extended beyond traditional marital roles. While they shared many political goals, their personal relationship evolved into more of a companionship. Both engaged in other close relationships outside their marriage, yet they maintained a strong political alliance and mutual respect. Connections with other influential figures. Eleanor's circle of friends and acquaintances included many influential men and women of her time. She nurtured friendships that were intellectual and emotionally fulfilling, such as her relationship with civil rights activist Mary McLeod Bethune and her connections with prominent political figures. An advocate for love and understanding. Eleanor's public writings and speeches often touched on themes of love, empathy, and human understanding. These principles were reflected in her personal relationships and her approach to her public life. Her compassionate nature and desire for social justice were inseparable from her own experiences of love and friendship. Private Struggles Despite her public persona, Eleanor's personal life was marked by loneliness and the longing for deep emotional connections. Her relationships, while meaningful, were often fraught with complexity and ambiguity, reflecting a woman searching for her own identity and fulfillment. A lasting legacy. Eleanor's relationships and personal life are integral to understanding her impact as a political figure and advocate for social change. Her connections with others, both platonic and possibly romantic, shaped her worldview and fueled her passion for activism. Eleanor Roosevelt's love life is not merely a footnote in her biography. It's a vital part of understanding a woman who challenged societal norms and who continues to inspire with her legacy of progressivism, empathy, and human dignity. Her approach to love and friendship was a reflection of her broader philosophy, highlighting the importance of compassion, respect, and authenticity in all human interactions. Number 8. John F. Kennedy John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, was a charismatic and influential leader whose private life was as compelling as his public persona. While JFK's political achievements are well known, his personal relationships and romantic liaisons have also drawn significant attention and scrutiny. Marriage to Jacqueline Kennedy JFK's marriage to Jacqueline Bouvier in 1953 was seen as a union of two glamorous and sophisticated individuals, Despite their public image as a golden couple, their marriage was complex, marked by JFK's frequent infidelities and Jackie's struggles to reconcile her husband's behavior with their public life. High-profile affairs. 
Kennedy's affairs with various women have become part of his controversial legacy. His relationships with individuals such as Marilyn Monroe, Judith Campbell Exner, and other women connected to the entertainment and political world have been the subject of numerous books and investigations. Charm and charisma. Kennedy's appeal was undeniable, and his charisma extended to his personal relationships. His ability to connect with people on a personal level, whether in politics or in private encounters, was a defining aspect of his character. Impact on political life. JFK's relationships were not without political implications. Some of his liaisons were seen as potential security risks or sources of scandal that could have undermined his presidency. The intersection of his private life with his public role adds complexity to his legacy. John F. Kennedy's love life is a multifaceted and intriguing aspect of his personality and his presidency. His marriage to Jackie, his high-profile affairs, and his charismatic appeal are all elements that contribute to a complex portrait of a man who was both a public figure and a private individual. JFK's relationships provide insight into a leader whose personal life was as compelling as his political career. His love life, with its mix of charm, controversy, and complexity, adds a human dimension to his historical legacy, reflecting both the man and the times in which he lived. It serves as a reminder that the personal lives of public figures are often as intricate and fascinating as the public personas they project. Number 9. Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe, one of the most iconic and glamorous figures in Hollywood history, led a life filled with fame, beauty, and intrigue. Her relationships and romantic entanglements have fascinated the public for decades, reflecting a complex and often misunderstood individual. Marriages and Divorces Monroe's love life included three marriages, each filled with its own drama and complexities. Her marriages to James Doherty, Joe DiMaggio, and Arthur Miller all ended in divorce, with each relationship reflecting different aspects of her personality and needs. Famous liaisons. Beyond her marriages, Monroe's relationships with high-profile individuals such as John F. Kennedy and Robert F. Kennedy have been subjects of endless speculation and intrigue. While details of these relationships remain somewhat mysterious, they contribute to the myth and allure surrounding Monroe's love life. Emotional Vulnerability Behind the glamorous facade, Monroe was a woman of deep emotional complexity and vulnerability. Her relationships were often marked by insecurity, neediness, and a fear of abandonment. This emotional landscape influenced her romantic choices and added to the complexity of her love life. A symbol of sensuality, Monroe's image as a sex symbol made her love life a subject of public fascination. Her sensuality and allure were defining aspects of her persona, and they played out in her relationships as well as her roles on the screen. A Legacy of Mystery Monroe's untimely death at the age of 36 has added to the mystique surrounding her life and relationships. Her love life continues to be a subject of speculation, mythologizing, and reinterpretation, reflecting the enduring fascination with her as a cultural icon. Marilyn Monroe's love life is a tapestry of romance, glamour, struggle, and complexity. Her relationships were not simply tabloid fodder. They were a reflection of a woman seeking connection, identity, and love in a world where she was often reduced to an object of desire. Her marriages, affairs, and emotional struggles offer a glimpse into the human side of a woman who continues to captivate audiences around the world. Monroe's love life is an essential part of understanding her as a person, not just as a star, providing a window into her soul and her enduring appeal. Marilyn Monroe's story is one of contradictions, blending beauty and vulnerability, fame and loneliness, sensuality and innocence. Her love life encapsulates these complexities, painting a portrait of a woman who was as enigmatic in her personal relationships as she was on the silver screen. Number 10. Simone de Beauvoir Simone de Beauvoir, the influential French existentialist philosopher, writer, and feminist, had a love life that was as unconventional and intellectual as her work. Her relationships were characterized by a desire for intellectual partnership, personal freedom, and a rejection of traditional gender roles. Partnership with Jean-Paul Sartre De Beauvoir's relationship with fellow philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre was one of the most famous intellectual partnerships of the 20th century. Though never legally married, they maintained a lifelong connection, 
characterized by deep intellectual engagement, shared philosophical pursuits, and an open relationship that allowed both to have other romantic and sexual partners. Affairs with men and women. De Beauvoir had relationships with both men and women, including students, writers, and intellectuals. Her affairs were often intertwined with her intellectual life, forming connections with individuals who shared her passion for philosophy, literature, and political activism. Rejection of traditional roles. De Beauvoir's love life was an embodiment of her philosophical stance on existentialism and feminism. She rejected traditional roles and expectations in relationships, opting instead for a life of intellectual equality, personal freedom, and authenticity. Lasting Legacy De Beauvoir's love life is a significant aspect of her intellectual legacy. Her relationships were an integral part of her exploration of existentialism, freedom, and what it means to be human. Her personal life and her philosophical writings are inextricably linked, offering a complex picture of a woman who lived her philosophy. Simone de Beauvoir's love life was a reflection of her groundbreaking ideas and her commitment to living a life true to her beliefs. Her relationship with Sartre, her affairs, and her rejection of conventional norms were not mere personal choices. They were manifestations of her philosophical principles. Her love life is a testament to her intellectual rigor, her courage in challenging societal norms, and her unapologetic embrace of a life lived on her terms. It is a story that intertwines romance, intellect, freedom, and complexity, offering a glimpse into the mind of one of the most influential thinkers of her time. Simone de Beauvoir's relationships provide a unique insight into her philosophy and her character. Reflecting a life dedicated to intellectual pursuit, personal authenticity, and social change. Her love life, like her work, continues to inspire and provoke, illuminating the intricate connections between the personal and the philosophical, the emotional and the intellectual.